What's going on guys? My name is Braspy and welcome back to Sonic Frontiers Revisited. Alright, so I don't really exactly remember everything that we did in the last video, but I remember that we did stuff in the last video. <laughs> so we're going to continue to do stuff in this video uh, as... Oh, bro. Okay, yeah. So I didn't realize it was going to restore my stomp right there. If I had known that, I was going to... Because for some reason this game is like really finicky about its stomp uh okay there we go um so this video is being recorded after the the, the first chaos island video man y'all did not like that and honestly i would say i don't blame you but i knew adventure fans would respond that way um Luckily, I had no comments, but I bet you anything I can get a comment, like, straight after this, and they're gonna be like, oh, well, um, uh, you know, something like, I don't know, something like that. I was expecting a lot of hate, which, you know, to my, uh, bewilderment, that's gonna be the word of the day, bewilderment, there was not that much, uh, it was just mainly dislikes, which that's probably my most disliked Sonic Frontiers video, which honestly, like, I'm not, I'm not upset about it or anything. I, I don't care, you know. I just find that funny because I, I, I knew the minute I released that episode, I was like, dude, this is going to get so many dislikes. I'm like, the adventure fans are not going to like this. They don't like being accused of stuff they feel they, the, they've been wronged by, but uh, they, they just can't accept the truth, guys. They just, they just can't. They just can't. Um, anyway, <laughs> let me chill out before this video gets disliked too, because I ain't trying to get too many dislikes, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, yeah, so, um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be commentating on today. I have been sick. I got sick yesterday. I had a, I threw up at like four in the morning and then had a daggum fever. Um, and I got to stream, uh, the rest of Sonic Mania today. Um, so, ooh, hello. Okay, there we go. Um what the freak <laughs> um so yeah i'm i'm uh compared to yesterday i'm doing a little better i wasn't doing so hot yesterday um but uh compared to today i'm doing a little better which is great um but we'll, we'll see if i have anything to say uh commentary wise um but yeah honestly we're just we're just gonna have some fun today um and I'm going to try to find stuff to ramble about because I'm a Sonic fan that likes to ramble about Sonic things because I have autism and, you know, I have to appease that uh, every so often because it just it just happens to be that way. Um, you know, as a Sonic fan, I must do what I must, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's just, just, just how it is. Uh, us Sonic autism people, um, you know, unite in the power of autism. Oh boy. Okay. We have those and you know what? I'm I'm going to take it. Because I don't think the game So Chaos Island, it like I said in some of the previous videos, Chaos I can't speak. Um Chaos Island is a little weird in the fact that it doesn't like to save a lot. It kind of likes to save after you do a lot of these uh, checkpoints and stuff. So you really have to make sure that you get a lot of your stuff. Also that you don't die because that's that's the thing. Extreme mode makes it. But Chaos Island, I will say, is fun uh, in, the, in the way that you get to do a lot of these um, uh, jump skips, as I like to call them, uh, with the spin dash. Because honestly i'm glad that they brought back the spin dash and it works a little differently from lost world but it definitely still works a lot like lost worlds where it's like an infinite kind of thing um and uh if y'all don't know i i actually really like lost world lost world in my opinion is it's like adventure gameplay but more modernized and uh, now say what you want about the run button i get i get i get the whole i get the whole complaint about that me personally doesn't bug me but if I were to have adventure gameplay return, because here, 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 what I'll do today in this episode is I will talk positively about the adventure gameplay. Because although I am a known adventure game hater, it's Sonic Adventure 2, or not Adventure 2, Adventure 1 is one of my favorite games of, of all time. It's one of my favorite Sonic games of all time. So, in terms of Sonic games, uh, I actually really like Adventure 1 um, a lot, and I like Lost World. I think Lost World is now 
you could call this controversial, but I think Lost World is sort of a Sonic Adventure styled game because it has the spin dash, it has a lot of the things from the uh, adventure gameplay. Um, and I think that the Infinite Spin Dash, I think Lost World is like their attempt at bringing that back. And I, of course, adventure fans didn't like it because, like I said, they complain a lot. But anyway, um, let me, bro, I can't chill out for a single second. That's crazy. <laughs> um, uh, but um, either way, um, it's, it's kind of a thing of uh, I don't really think that. Um, the uh, Lost World gameplay is bad. In fact, I really like the Infinite Spin Dash. It makes the game really fun and more fast-paced than it already kind of is. And I also really like the parkour system. The parkour system is really, really freaking fun um, in that game. I'm going to have to fight some people before I can unlock that, aren't I? Um, let me see. Do I have this? Okay. Where is that? That's over this way. Um... And, uh, I, like I said, I liked it, but I do like the adventure gameplay. Just because I hate on it doesn't mean I'm a complete hater of it. I mean, you could probably say that, yes, that's what that means. But it's like, I like it, especially in a fan... Okay, when done correctly, like when it controls really good and is fun, um, uh, I really like it. And, um, a, the best example I could say for that is, um, and I'll tag it here. It's one of my older videos and I don't really like tagging my older videos, but you know, um, honestly it's to get the point across Sonic Venture. Sonic Venture was a fan game that I played. Um, it was the very first Sonic fan game that I played. Um, and it was a, um, it was being made in Dream, so it's on PlayStation. And if you guys want me to revisit that, let me know. I don't know if it's gotten any updates. I definitely want to revisit it when it gets an update. But it had adventure-style gameplay, plus the drop dash. And that game controlled phenomenally. And when when the game controls right and still has that fast-paced aspect to it, I really like the adventure gameplay. But I think what takes adventure gameplay out of it for me is that fact of... Um, is that fact of you know the uh, the control of both those games? I, and I think, in my opinion, I think Adventure Two controls worse than One. But I also think that's why Sonic Frontiers did so good. Is that it control it? Even though it is boost gameplay at its core, it has the spin dash and a lot of its gameplay aspects with the full 3D and whatnot. How it it does feel very adventure-esque, and I think that's also why I like Frontiers, because it's like, it has kind of everything that I like, which is, you know, adventure... Bro, I just went backwards. Okay. <laughs> it has kind of everything that I like, as, long, as, long, uh, as well as everything that other fans like, which is like, adventure, gameplay, boost gameplay, classic gameplay, kind of all in one. Like, Sonic has the drop dash, and you kind of just forget that he has it in this. But, um, he, uh, it, it, it's fun, you know, because it controls really good in the open world. Um, you can do a lot of these tricks, and I think tricking in this game is the most fun we've had tricks, uh, since, um, Generations. I didn't, uh, as much as I love Unleashed and I hype it up, I did not like the trick system in, uh, in, um, what was it, in, uh, Sonic, um, uh, Sonic Unleashed because of quick time events and I, I'm, I'm honestly I'll be honest not a big fan of quick time events um, where'd he go there you are there we go let's see if we can make it over there we probably can because that's a chaos emerald over there but yeah I, I, I like I said uh, let me let me be an adventure fan glazer because it's like heroes as much as i feel like heroes is like weird because it control it, i think heroes is definitely the biggest offender of the the adventure gameplay controls like it just golly the fact that they went from adventure one to adventure two and then it continued to get worse just does not help its case in my opinion but um I still really like Heroes, and I think it has that soft spot for me because it was the very first mainline Sonic game that I ever played. And so, you know, to me, Heroes has that kind of special place in my heart where it's going to be, you know, the game for me, you know? Um, and I think 
Although I feel very conflicted about it because a lot of it is just repeat offender kind of thing, you know, and it's a very, it's a very um, repetitive game. It's still fun when it can be, you know, and okay, we did it. Nice. You kind of had to go ham on these. The, the requirements aren't too bad, which is good, but still. Um, I just, I don't know. It's, it's, Heroes, I feel, is also a, a lot like how I've been talking about, like, forces in this game. Heroes is... I've never heard him say that. Yo, y'all heard that, right? Anyway, um, I, what was I saying? Heroes, I think, yeah. As much as I, as much as I like heroes and adventure gameplay, I, I don't know. It, in a way, now, I, I feel like maybe, maybe people would agree with this, and I know I just said I would, I would be an adventure fan in this, uh, video, but, like, I don't know, a part of me feels like it's a little outdated, I guess? I don't know, to me, and maybe it's just a little bit of bias speaking because I grew up with the boost, but to me, the boost formula is Sonic, you know? Like, it just, when I think about Sonic and I think about the boost, it, it's, it, it just feels fitting for not only who he is, but, oh my, oh my, oh my, well, we're gone. Uh, not only do I just think about, like, who, who he is, but I just think, when I want that sense of speed, I don't really load up, I don't really think about, here, let me load up Sonic Adventure 2, or Sonic Adventure 1, let me load up Generations, Unleashed, you know, and that's kind of what I think about when I want to replay a game, Frontiers, another great example, because it's like, this game is great, because you can just run around, you can do all this stuff, and that's mainly why I wanted this to be my first playthrough, um, or redo playthrough, and also, uh, like, for the modern Sonic genre, like, my other playthrough, because it's like, now it's like, I've already played the game, you know, we're playing the game, and we're having fun with it, but now it's a matter of, uh, oh, we play the game, and a lot of the activity that you can do in this game is very mindless, but in a good way. It's not a bad thing that it's very mindless. It's a good thing, um, because uh, the game has, um, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Oh, I saved it. How am I such a pro, you ask? There we go. Easy. Look at that. Mega Coco. Um, we'll go ahead and, you know, we'll go ahead and grab the Chaos Emerald. That way we're ahead of time here. Um, well, not ahead of time, but ahead of the game. Go ahead and get the yellow one first. Yellow's my favorite color, actually, which is funny you say that. Um, which is funny I say that because my channel color is orange. Um, land it. Yes! Nice, look at that. What did I tell y'all? I'm the Sonic Pro. Plus, I wanted to change the music, because this music, I think, is a little better. Huh! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, the second movement is really good for this. And I think... Um, but I will say that the more I, I definitely want to get through this because I feel like we've definitely been, I, I definitely feel like we've been chugging through frontiers, but I definitely want to get done with it because I'm really, honestly, now that we've decided on what we're going to play next, I'm really excited to get to Sonic Heroes. I really, really am. I've been, um, y'all have been getting really lucky in terms of Sonic stuff on my channel. And I said this a little bit in the, um, the, uh, the Mania live stream, um, that I've been kind of on a Sonic high right now, and, you know, that's been lucky for a lot of y'all, because it's like, the minute I rotate off of a Sonic high, you'll know, and it's like, I know that the past few videos I've uploaded were, you know, Persona and Ryza, but it's like, I'm having fun with those, but I've also, like I said, I've, I've literally been sick, so I just haven't been able to work on videos, and originally I was gonna have a Sonic video go up, but I also kind of got behind on those a little bit, um, because of some of the upload issues that I had. Um, come on. Yes, sir. 
Um, but I, I, uh, I really like what, um, uh, Frontiers has done. And I've been on a real Sonic high, especially modern Sonic. And I really want to, uh, what I really want to do is I want to, um, I want to do Sonic Colors, which I'm really excited for. I, and I kind of, I don't know, when I play Sonic games, I never, I always go into these, like, what am I going to talk about, you know? And I feel like, for me, going into Colors is going to be kind of a return to form-esque um, type uh, series that I'm going to be doing. Because what's going to, what's, what's going to go on is, um... What's going to go on with that is I'm going to be doing more of a guide thing. And if y'all know back in the day when I played, uh, when I played, um, Mania Origins and stuff like that, I did more like guide-esque type videos where, you know, I guided everybody through the games that I was playing and stuff like that. And it basically helped. I helped people get through, um, games and whatnot. And I, I still really like doing that, but I also like to have compelling commentary when I can, you know, um... I still like to try to talk about just random Sonic stuff, and, and it's like, here, it's like, right now, we're just running around, and I think that's what makes Frontiers kind of perfect for that kind of thing, but I also think that, um, oh yeah, we caught both of them, caught both of them lacking. What's good? Uh -oh! Nice, caught both of them. Um, I, I still think, I still think that we have a... Um, you know, I, and I'm gonna, I, I still want to, you know, have that commentary that I, that I have and that a lot of people know me for. Um, but I want to also be able to, uh, oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. Got it. There we go. Got it. Nice. I'm glad we were able to do that quick silo because that really just finished it off for us. Um, but I, uh, I, I, I'm kind of glad. But I also am just very curious about what I'm going to talk about in in um, in uh, that series because it's like, like I said, I, I go into these videos just kind of blind. I, I just kind of go into these videos like, all right, we're going to play the game and we're going to talk a little bit and. Um, it makes me a little self-conscious about my commentary in some cases a little bit, but for the most part, I'm like, you know, I, I feel like I'm confident enough to be like, okay, well, you know, it's not, uh, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good commentator, right guys? I'm, I'm a good commentator, I think, you know, um, freaking squid, get out of here, loser. Um... Uh, it's like, I, I, I feel like I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm solid, right? Like, we're, 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 we're chill, we're homies, right? And, um, I, I, uh, can't help but, what the freaking frick? What the absolute freaking frick, bro? I swear. Um, I, I, I feel like it's kind of at that point now where it's like, I am excited for that, and I'm also excited for Sonic X uh, Shadow Generations, which is why I haven't played Generations yet, because I'm just going to wait for that to come out, um, and then play that. But I'm also very excited for, um, uh, you know, when we get high enough to play Unleashed. And I do feel like, and I have said, if y'all didn't see the little thing that I put out on the community post, that if we can hit 500 subs in the next two months, I'll, uh, I'll play Sonic 06 Retail. And I'm really excited for that as well because it's like, although I've played the project and I wish that the, it could be the project. If, now, if the project gets completed and it has all of the story beats in it, I'll play Project 06 for sure as a full playthrough. I'm going to. But it's like, playing the retail, that would just be, that's just going to be fun to do because it's like, I'm going to have some crazy commentary. I already know I'm going to say some crazy outrageous stuff. The rage is going to get real because of how broken that game is. But it's like, I also, as much as I love Frontiers, I feel like there's not much you can really... It's, I feel the same way about Frontiers um, that I do about Forces, but in a more positive way, if that makes any sense. Did that just fall straight down? It did. Wow. The odds of that is crazy. Um, 
I feel about Frontiers more positively than I do Forces, so don't get me wrong on that. I, I do love Frontiers. Um, but I just feel like there's a lot of good that you can say about this game, but there's also just like, there's, you know, and like, I said, like I've said before, not the perfect game. That's okay. That's fine. But I also just, I don't know. It just really feels like when I think about, bro, okay, you know what? What are you? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see. I'm, I'm guys. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of, um, restarted, you know, um, uh, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of dumb. Um, I, I, I feel like frontiers, like there's a lot of good that you can say about this game. And I, and there's definitely things that I don't like about this game. And I know there's a lot of things that other people don't like about this game, but for me, I think it's solid. It's a solid good direction for where they want to go and it's solid for what they want to do in the future. And I think if if they expand on the things that worked in this game, get rid of the things that didn't, we can have a really great sequel. And it seems like there's been rumors that they're already working on the sequel. Is this the drift one? I think it is. Um like I definitely think when it comes to cyberspace they're going to have to fix this control, man, cuz it is not good. Like, look at that. Like, it, even with the drift, not good, man. Not good. That's not a good look, you know. And I is it Kishimoto that was the one that said that he was confident about how the, the cyberspace would control? Because it's like, if you were the one that was confident about that crap, bro, maybe you should have um, maybe you should have uh, hung up your hat, bro. Because this is not it. Um... Like, the drifting thing is fun. I know where this is from. It's from, uh, it's from, uh, what's it called? Uh, Mazuri. Um, that part in Mazuri. Um, Day. Um, Savannah Citadel, I should say. Uh, more appropriately named. There we go, gotcha. And it does feel like, for some reason, in this stage, Sonic controls, like, way better than he usually does. Like, why is it in this stage he controls, like, a dream? But in every other stage, he's just like, no... I don't think I will. Got it. Nice. He does kind of widen those turns a little bit. And I do think, you know, I'm not really excited to play Sonic Forces, but I know there's going to be a time where, you know, that's going to come and I'm going to have to play Sonic Forces, you know? It's like, I, there is a time where I'm going to have to play that game as much as I don't like it. Um, okay, you can spin dash. I was about to be like, bro, this game is not letting me spin dash, and I don't know how I feel about it. You can... S That's crazy. You can skip these. Nice. Come on, keep going, keep going. Nice. Keep going. Come on. We almost got it. There we go. Got it. That's it right there, I think. Um, and, like, like I said, I like most of the modern Sonic games. I like most of the, uh, the boost style games. Unleashed being my favorite. Because this is my favorite game of all time. But I just... It's... It's a tough... Oh, by the way, I'm not recording at night. It's just storming over here. So that's why it's really dark out. Um... Which is why I'm glad I got this light. Because now I can... Okay, now we have all the Chaos Emeralds unlocked. That's good. Um, as much as I... Uh, kind of... Um, you know... Don't like what Forces did. like, and, and I'm excited for this channel and the future of Sonic on it. Because it's like... I, I eventually want to play all the Sonic games. And for some games I'm going to have to emulate. And I'm going to have to learn how to do that. And hopefully I can get some friends and or... You know some some of the more some of my subs that I've been getting close to to help me teach me how to emulate so I can get games like um what is it um uh, I want to learn how to emulate so I can get games like uh, the advanced games and stuff like that because it's like I've never played the advanced games and I've never played the first Sonic Rush I've played Rush Adventure um, and I think that's a severely underrated game it's honestly probably one of the best games ever 
Um, I, I love that game. And uh, I want to be able to play uh, Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. I'm honestly kind of hype about playing that game. I have a lot of fond memories of it as a, as a kid. Um, and I know it's not the best game. Uh, but that's also why I've been uh, really looking forward to the fan remake of the game. Because I know that's going to fix a lot of the problems that the game had. But I'm still really looking forward to it. Because I know that's going to be a really long playthrough. Because it's basically RPG style. And I don't know. Sonic, when Sonic does interesting things that you've, uh, what I appreciate about Sonic is that he does a lot of things that fans would be like, <gasps> get, oh yes, oh yes, we did it, nice, um, what I appreciate about Sonic is Sonic likes to do a lot of things that, 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 fans fans kind of want it, it and it's it's a weird decision at first I'll say but when Sonic does it you get this sense of like oh well no now we know like maybe it wasn't the best but now we know kind of how a Sonic game of that nature would work and it's like I bet there's been fans out there that have been like oh man I wonder how a RPG styled Sonic game would work and it's like Boom. Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. Now we know how that game, how a game in the Sonic RPG style would work if we... Ah! Um, okay. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, you still get thrown in here either way. So if I want that emerald, I'm gonna have to get past that, or that song bite. I'm gonna have to get past that, huh? Okay, here we go. Retrying a bunch of different stuff. You've gotta be kidding me, right? Oh, nope. There we go, cool. Easy, easy recovery. I am about to say, don't drop a gear on me like that. That's crazy, that's evil. Yeah, but I, I I don't know. For me, Sonic is a very um mesmerizing uh franchise to say the least. Oh my bro, what is going on? There we go, bro. There we go. Got it. Nice. Now we go past here. Up. Up. And maybe now we can skip that one section altogether, which is what I hope. Nope. Oh, we're in a different one. Hold on. Patience. Go. We're good to go. Then we gotta go through the bottom one. Okay. It's really hard to focus when this dude is... Crapping at you like that. Okay, wait for it to go again. And then... Over. Got. Woo! That was close. Okay. Um... Yeah, sorry. I really had to focus up on that one. I'm not going to lie. Um, funny thing is, is I'm going to have to have tails here. Uh, so I'm going to have to head back to this area at some point. Don't know when, but at some point. Um, but, yeah, it's a... It's a... Um, I don't know. So Sonic, Sonic has done a lot of interesting things over the years, for sure. And I know I've talked a lot about it, but it's just... It's hard not to talk about it because it's like, you know, he, it's just, it's true. You know, 
and whether I think it's a good idea or not, like, you know, is up to debate. And it's like I've said, like, like as much as I know Secret Rings isn't the best Sonic game, and I've talked about it a lot, it's like, I still think that the concept and the ideas that, that, um, that Sonic... Uh, and the Secret Rings brought to the franchise was interesting and a cool idea for what Sega was going for at the time, you know? Um, look at that. I'm so freaking big-brained! Golly. I'm so big-brained. It's not even freaking funny how big-brained I am. Um, and it's a... It's a... Uh, I don't know, man. Sonic is Sonic. Um, he's always going to be Sonic. And I think, you know, no matter how far we get um, into, you know, this Blue Rat's little career, you know, and his his legacy, we're always going to have, we're always going to have, you know, something there. You know, there's always going to be that that blue there's he's all he's always going to be here you know he's he's been here f he's been here for for ages you know since 1991 and it's like and he's still here you know he's still doing his thing and he's doing a lot better he's in uh, like i've said he's in a better spot than he was previously oh i do not think i can make that actually i'm very scared about that now ah, i could probably make that one but it wouldn't work probably no. Ooh. Huh, how do I get back? <laughs> Maybe right there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, because there are there is a part to get to one of the Chaos Emeralds. We are gonna have to unlock a story beat for it. So it's like there is a bit of, um, I mean, you can probably get there before Tails, you know, before talking to Tails, but you just have to be smart about it. And I'm unfortunately not that smart, you know, but um. Yeah, I'm going to try to shorten the length of these episodes just a little bit, so I think I might leave it here for now. Um, if you guys did like this, please make sure to leave a like on the videos. It does help out a lot and lets me know that you guys are liking what I'm putting out as well as, hey, in the comment section below. Um, uh, I don't know. Let me know if you guys still think I'm a, I'm a, I'm a adventure fan hater. Let me, let me know. Because I know, I know, I, and I knew, r rightfully so, I knew that video wasn't going to do incredibly hot. But still, like, I think it had four to three, and then somebody removed their like because they decided, oh, wait, I'm an adventure fan. So they removed their like, but they didn't dislike the video. So <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, to me, at least it was, you know. I, I, get a, I get a kick out of, you know, torturing adventure fans. Um, but that being said... Um, you know, also, if you're new around here and you want more Sonic content, because I'm on a huge Sonic kick right now, you're going to want to subscribe so you don't miss a single Sonic video. And I will, of course, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna finish off this, this boss fight with Spider, and I will, of course, see you all in the next one. Goodbye.